Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Straight Facts Commentary where I give you my unpopular opinions in everything pop culture. So please, please, please stick around and subscribe for more. And to the rest of you, to the rest of you, the non-believers, the underachievers, the tweet and deleters, you guys make me sick to my stomachs, fam. Honestly, if you guys want to look in my eyes, you guys want to do something? You guys... That's what I thought. No, that's what I thought. Mm-hmm. That's what I... Hey, y'all. I am back again with another video. And in today's video, we are going to be speaking about Flo Millie, my girl, okay? But before we get into everything, I want to say thank you to my current subscribers, my returning ones. And to anyone who hasn't subscribed yet, please do that because we are approaching a thousand subs. And once we get to a thousand subs, I'm going to be doing my first Cash App giveaway on this channel. I cannot say this enough, guys. And the first person to answer the question I will ask correctly will be getting the Cash App giveaway, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. So I'm so happy, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> I saw the news just actually not that long ago, probably less than an hour ago on i think instagram and oh my god i am so happy flo millie has her first hot 100 entry and it's actually really like crazy how this is her first entry she debuted at number 84 for her new song never lose me okay and i'm so glad everybody is rocking with the song it's sultry it's sexy it's like fun but it's like real low-key has like even an r&b kind of vibe kind of feel to it it's like a cruising song like if you're gonna go in the car and like vibe out it is perfect okay the music video was cute um i'm not sure did i do a review on that song on this channel i really think i did to be honest but i don't even i can't think right now and i can't see my videos from me recording but i'm pretty sure i did do a review on that song and i loved it or was it bad girls club that song by flo millie it's the bad 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 girls club i don't know i reviewed one of those songs on this channel child i have no idea i am so happy she has her first entry because everybody has been sleeping on flo millie for a long time like this is so long overdue it's crazy and people have their critiques about her which is totally fine i have my critiques about a lot of artists but flo millie is one person that i feel like doesn't really miss that often but you know, that's my personal opinion, but a lot of people like say that her voice is annoying and that her songs are childish or something like that. Her songs are not childish. Like, let's just start there. She makes the same type of music as like a lot of grown adult female rappers. So I don't, I don't even know what people are talking about with that, but I think it's just because her voice is a little bit more animated and it's a little bit squeakier that people think that she makes childish music, but it's like, that's her voice. What is she supposed to do? Like, change the way she sounds like that's how she sounds like I, I love it to me Flo Millie has always been different and I like that she is aesthetically like a little different I like that her voice is different I like how she approaches her rap style it's fun it's interesting you don't really get bored with it in my opinion and I'm so proud of her and honestly this is what happens with hard work and dedication because I've been listening to Flo for like mm, probably three or four years now and I've been a big fan for like ever since I heard like I think one of my first songs I heard by her was um that bitch or it was one of the first few songs that I heard by her I walk around like that bitch I'm that bitch and you know I'm just so I'm so excited to see what happens from here if she will continue to debut or you know I don't know it's okay but this is what I think Flamily should do from here like I like her regular sound but since this is the sound that just recently captured everybody's attention, I think she should make a couple of more records like this, maybe drop in um, an EP with a similar sound. Because the thing about the GP is you want to try to keep their attention. You know what I'm saying? Strike while the iron is hot. And so if the general public is messing with this type of sound, I think she should stick with it at least for a little bit to gain you know, more attention and more fans and things like that. Because it happens all too often to where like, a person will get like a hit or something and then 
all of a sudden they completely divulge from the sound that made them popular or completely divulge from the sound that people were drawn to and then they wonder why they didn't you know get back popping again or get back to like a high level again well girl you ab abandoned the sound that everybody wanted to hear so that's why so I think that um she should kind of stick to this little pattern that she's on for a little bit longer opposed to just this one song to see how people receive it i'm so 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 happy for her like flo millie um dochi because dochi had the what it is song um that debuted at number 90 or something like that so i love it my dark skin girls are coming up and they've been slept on for so long you know because colorism this industry doesn't want to put anything into them as far as like the fans are there obviously we understand that but like the industry doesn't necessarily want to back them or support them or put a whole bunch of like you know promotion into them as far as like oh radio and like pushing you know what i'm saying like the labels pushing these artists the fans you know obviously they do what they can do but the labels the industry has to be behind them too and give them radio and give them promotion and budgets and you know more just give them more like some of these other artists that we see who clearly have way more industry support than artists like Flo Millie and Dochi, even though they're signed artists. You know what I mean? Well, of course, the fans play a part in whether they're big, but so does the industry. You know what I'm saying? So I'm so, 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 so happy. I know she's got to be so excited. And I hope the song continues to climb because it debuted at number 84. So that means it can you know, either climb from here over the next passing weeks or drop. So I'm hoping it doesn't drop. And it seems like everybody's fucking with the song, so I doubt it will drop. Um, but let me know what you guys think about this whole thing. And I'm just so proud of her. <laughs> and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.